the black community is, has a long way to go in our mental health care. The job is a, it's a hybrid role that we're speaking of. Uh, participate in all of the resume reviews. Uh, I do negotiations, do executive coaching, do a number of things. All right, so I'm Quincy Amakwege. So I, uh, been with Black in HR for a few years now. Um, in my day job, when I'm not coaching, uh, I lead all of talent and total rewards for a mental health organization. So doing what I can to make sure our community uh, moves ahead in HR and careers overall. Uh, but as I am learning uh, the importance of mental health care myself, I wanna give every single piece of opportunity and advancement back to our community because as most of you I'm sure know, the black community is, uh, has a long way to go in our mental health care, especially black men. So, uh, you know, I enjoy what I do, but we're gonna have a good time up here on stage today. So, Crystal, are you ready? I'm shaking, but no, I'm No, you, you, you will be okay. So, uh, <laughs> in my role with uh, black and HR, so I do a, a number of things. So I uh, participate in all of the uh, resume reviews, uh, I do negotiations, uh, I do executive coaching, do a number of things, but, I always share with individuals that some of the reason why I coach is because I want to see the wealth spread throughout our community. I know that uh, it's been mentioned before that a lot of other communities always reach out and ensure that their peers, those around them, have an opportunity to come up. And there have been times where I know we try to do that ourselves in our community, but it can be more, I got mine, now you find a way to get yours. And in a lot of ways, in the job market, you've done all of this work. You went through getting your resume tightened up, you went through countless applications, and you networked until you couldn't even talk no more, you went to interviews for months. Some of you, I know in this room, have been on the job market at times in your career for over a year. When you finally get an offer, that is not the time to mess it up. And so there's a lot of data out there around um, just like in general, what communities of people negotiate and who doesn't. Uh, women and minorities especially don't negotiate uh, or are, they tend not to negotiate their offers. Uh, in general, there's some data from Fortune that says that over half of the people who got offers in the last 18 months didn't negotiate, over half. The number is specifically 54%. That's a lot, okay? Now, of those 54%, okay, you ready for this? Yeah. Over the course of their career, you leave about 250 to upwards of 750 grand on the table, okay? That, that data, the number goes even higher, the more senior that you are in your career, you can leave upwards of a million dollars. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, my African father would never <laughs> allow that, okay? I would be disowned if I was leaving that amount of money on the table. Negotiating is in my blood. And so, naturally, I think we owe it to ourselves and to our community to continue to make sure that we are finding ways to uh, increase our wealth. And so again, I always share with people, we don't worship the money, okay? I know money can, you, you know, root of all evil, whatever you believe generally, Having more of it, though, makes life a little bit easier, especially if you put it to good use and uh, invest it. And of course, there's other learnings that you can do with your money just to make sure that it is growing for you and that you can, you know, if anybody has ever purchased something uh, and they didn't have to use any of the, the principal, but you bought something or you saw the interest of whatever you deposited or invested, this is it's big time. So, Crystal, what are we gonna do today? I heard uh, in the interview, okay? So, sounds like we're going after a senior HRVP role, something like that, is that yes. right? Yes, and I'm, I took the, the feedback I received and my next interview was great, so. Okay, good, good. I'm, I'm hoping to hear an offer today. Okay, well good, so we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna have some fun today. So I'm gonna paint a little bit of a picture for us. So we are, let's assume that this is a uh, software company, we're roughly 10 years old, uh, 1,500 employees globally, mostly here in the U.S. though, so we're going to uh, be talking about uh, your offer in U.S. dollars uh, and not anything else. I know some of you are global and probably uh, work for some other organizations. I got a, a client the other day that said their, uh, their recruiter called them and uh, was not paying attention to what country they are in and gave them an offer in yen. Yeah. 
uh, have fun trying to uh, convert that. So in general, we are, let's say we are, um, you know, roughly, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna role play as your recruiter, mm -hmm. but I've got a really close relationship with a hiring manager, just assume that I'm an executive recruiter, okay? Okay, okay so phone's gonna ring, Crystal's gonna answer, go ahead, answer however you answer. Hello. Okay, good, so that's a good start, right? So when you are in the job market, hello seems basic. Uh, what I should have shared was that my HR career is about 12 or 13 years, mostly in the talent and DEI space. I've taken over talent development, people experience total rewards in the last three or four years. Over the course of my recruiting career, I have likely hired thousands, all the way from RPO work down to or up to C-suite work. So I've been like, get the offers out, it don't matter however many people it is, all the way to there's a long tail on these things. I've recruited for somebody for eight months, 10 months, 12 months into uh, a C-suite role. When you are job searching, okay, there's a few things that are important, and not just for the offer, but make sure your voicemail is clear. We don't wanna hear, you know, leave a message at the beat. Ah, you know, we don't want to hear it in, okay? Make sure your email is straight. There's some basic things in there, but people look at everything, especially as you get deeper into the interview process and especially when you get time uh, when you're near the end. So uh, as basic as that sounds, I have to tell people all the time, you know, hello, this is, you know, when I answer my phone, hi, this is Quincy, okay? Basic, I want you to know who you, you call, okay? So that was great, okay. okay? So Hello, you've uh, reached Crystal. Crystal, uh, this is Quincy over at you know, ABC Tech. Really excited to call you. I appreciate you answering my call at this time. I know you're probably busy, but uh, sorry for the delay in getting back to you from last week's interview, but I may have some good news for you. Hopefully you're excited. You're sitting down? I am very excited. I'm yeah, sitting let's down. Let's go. So I had an opportunity to chat with the hiring manager, and we are excited to offer you this role for senior HRBP. Yeah, so you did really well. I think the, um, we had a, a, another candidate come in last minute, and so thankfully uh, we, we appreciated the time that you put into the process, and so we uh, had an entry-level uh, interview with that person, but we decided, hey, you and two others had made it through, but the manager is really excited. As you know, there's some upcoming travel for this role, and we really wanted to have an opportunity for you to start as soon as possible. So I've got some terms of the offer today. Just really wanted to be able to share those with you. Sounds All right. Good. So, uh, as you know, we are growing. Our HR department is uh, in a, a bit of transition. Uh, we've got a new CHRO that has come in. We are uh, building out a new HR team. Certain functions are getting stood up from the, the ground. Uh, but in general, your client base that you'll be managing when you come in, probably one of, one of our most substantial uh, pieces of the organization. So you're gonna wanna come in. We're looking for you to, I think you mentioned in some of your interview about how strong some of your client management skills were, your ability to uh, lead HR across borders. And so this opportunity, really what we're hoping is that this offer demonstrates our commitment to you and our hope that you will say yes, okay? Okay. So we've got uh, an offer for you. We're coming in at uh, 150 base. Okay. Okay. We've got a 15% bonus. Okay. Our bonus is paid annually. It's done at the end of the uh, quarterly or the annual cycle in March of every year. So uh, while you are getting higher, let's just say the start date is sometime in July, you will be eligible for merit increase next cycle. Okay. Uh, we've got a $4,000 wellness stipend as uh, you know, typical across any uh, new hire here at the company. It's for tech setup, it's for wellness. If you want anything that's uh, extra outside of your benefits coverage, you can contribute some of that. I got a stand-up desk for my office because, you know, sitting at home all day during the pandemic and, and right. I want to stand up a little bit, but it is flexible. There's a, over a thousand different uh, items in the catalog that you can spend the $4,000 on. Yeah. Now, uh, are you familiar with equity? Can you explain how that works at your okay. company, please? So we are a public company, and so in addition to your base and bonus, uh, there is going to be $20,000 worth of equity in this role. Now, mm -hmm. uh, I'll break this down that that's $20,000 annually. So your grant okay. or what you will see in your offer letter is going to say $80,000. I always like to start with the smaller number first because people tend not to listen when they hear the big number up front. But your equity is going to be $80,000. It's broken down over the course of four years. So you'll go through a okay. uh, one-year uh, vesting period and then you'll uh, vest you know, one year cliff and then you'll vest quarterly over the, the next uh, 12 quarters until you hit the end of that four years, all that money is yours. I can send you some, uh, a deck on equity a little bit later to give you more, but you will have $20,000, especially since, you know, right now our stock is trending up, yeah. but 
equity is, you know, I have no control over that. It's so fluid. in the market, you know, you, yeah, you know, somebody say something wrong or whatever, come in and, uh, you know, grant price go down in, in general. But that is, uh, I think I remember hearing you say earlier on that you hadn't had equity before and so maybe we're just learning a little bit more about it. So right. uh, I will personally give you uh, more details on what, how the equity works. But Thank it you. is part of your offer. Now, we are comprehensive benefits, so your health, dental, vision, uh, mental health care as well. I want you to take a look at the benefits document and really, um, you know, immerse yourself in all the details. I don't get into any of the individual needs of your uh, health care, but if you see something in there that is, you know, you have questions about, feel free to let me know and I'll try to answer that for you as well. Okay. okay? But again, we'll try to get, uh, you know, start date, a date that works for you. Right now we have the 2nd July in uh, the second Monday in July ready uh, okay. to go. It takes about two weeks to get through the process. So, you know, okay. you, know you say you ready. We're about to test you out, see if you're actually ready. Come on, you know, but really excited. So hiring manager was, was glad to get this over to you. We do have a 48-hour turnaround on this offer. 48 hours. So is okay. that enough time for you to be able to review this and then get back to us? Well, I do have some questions beforehand. Sure. If you don't Talk, mind. Do you mind if I take some notes? I want to make go sure right I capture ahead. all the things. Okay, go ahead. Yes, yes, go ahead. yes. So you said the base was 150. Mm -hmm. I do know in the interview process, we, and as you just mentioned, you're building out the HR team. Um, it seems that I'll be taking on several projects and maybe wearing a few hats until we get the team broken out. I do have a very extensive background in benefits and compensation as well. And I know those are some of the teams that you're looking to bring out as well. And so I was wondering about updating the base pay possibly to 180 to compensate for me taking on those additional tasks um, while we build out the HR team. That was my first question. Is that is that it? No, that was just the first question. No, no, right, so so give it, give it to you, me all, yeah, at, one all time. at one time. I don't piece by piece, okay, yep. and the bonus you said was 15%, mm -hmm. and getting started in July, would that be a prorated bonus or will that be off the base pay for the entire year? Does it have to be prorated? It is going to be prorated, and that is standard. Yeah. Okay, and the job, is it it's a hybrid role that we're speaking of? Well, so. How flexible right are you? Right now, you're that? based in where? I'm based in Houston, Texas okay. right now. So we are uh, an in-person organization. However, uh, the closest office to you where your client base is located is Dallas. Do you have any flexibility of reload to Dallas? We're able to fully relocate you and help you sell your home and do a number of other things, but how much of a deal breaker is that for you? Um, is it possible for me to travel back and forth weekly and just travel to the office, or would you need me to actually relocate to live there fully? Traveling weekly is a lot, right? Uh, but definitely, you know, I think that's one area that we can talk through is seeing uh, what's coming up this year for your uh, client base's initiatives. We've got a couple kickoffs. I know there is an HR kickoff coming off. There's also uh, the start of our fiscal year generally is coming, so there you know, might, might be some flexibility there. but. I would ask you to prioritize for me when you think about all the things that you are asking for and about to ask for, like what is most important for you, right? And so mm -hmm. if location is a showstopper, probably not worth going to talk about the base salary increase right. yet. However, again, give me all of the things that are on your mind so that I can go back to the team at one time and see what's the best that I can get for you. Okay, so we talked about base, I've talked about Bonus, um, what, do you have structured PTO or is that unlimited? Did I miss that one? Flex time off. Flex we time are a off. company that actually lives by that. There is no, uh, we have unlimited time off, but your manager still uh, trying to cap you. Uh, it is a, a benefit from our CEO down that we offer flex time off. So uh, okay. myself, I've, uh, I'm here at the conference on flex time off myself. So I take a lot of days. So, okay. But yeah, it is one of those nice things. Okay, that's wonderful. Um, how about learning and development? I know I spoke with my recruiter quite a bit and she said that's very important to the organization. And I did not hear any type of monetary value in the offer regarding supporting my learning and development. I see you're here at the conference. I'm, assume, I'm not sure if you paid for it, if the company decided to help you with that. But how about structuring my own personal learning and development? Because that is very important to me. Oh, I'm glad you asked. So uh, at this level, all of our employees, while 
team and manager discretion generally at least have $2,500 in annual professional development. I'm glad that you asked about it. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a lot of people who ask about it and still never use it, so you want to make sure that, especially if there are things as you're coming in that you ask about those up front or at least get them on your manager's calendar. I would not wait until June 1st to say, hey, I want to go to a conference on June 27th, but we do have $2,500 for you for that. Okay, I have worked with a coaching organization in the past. I do like to attend conferences as well myself, and I would like to negotiate that from 2,500 to possibly 5,000. I've worked with Black and HR in the past, um, and they've been really successful in helping me advance my career, and I would like to increase that budget so I can support, still continue to get coaching, and that will also benefit my organization that we're moving to, as well as attend a conference or so if I would like to. Okay. Uh, tell me a little bit more about Black and HR. I've never heard of them. You haven't. I would love to tell you more. Individual, they give, if you're an elite member, you do get free master classes. They also offer certifications, or excuse me, certificates in different areas. And my last role, I did talk extensively about employee relations. And I used the free master class to help establish the employee relations department at my last job that's been very successful in deterring the employee relations and brought those down to probably about 50% once we got everything set up and started. Okay. So good. that's been really good. Anything else on your list? Um, and just as far as we did talk about the relocation, what type of relocation packages do you all offer if, that, if I'm not able to travel back and forth? This is coming up a second time, so I know this is important to you. It's important to me. Oh, good, I have, good. I have is, small children I have to Okay, good to know. So right now it is full relocation. So the company okay. has a third party uh, vendor that we would use to help you if you are a homeowner to help sell your home, uh, would help you with your packing of all of your belongings. If you have vehicles, you know, uh, up to transport of one or two vehicles. Still, you know, I realize that the process of moving is not ideal for everyone. You do have up to 90 days post your job or your start date in order to, you know, finalize that relocation. And there is some uh, financial support in there. I think about uh, 3000 or $5,000 for incidental fees that come up with as part of that. But as you know, across the country, home values have risen, you know, a lot Interest of- Interest rates you know, are high. You know, all things that you have to consider if you are interested in this job, but we would try to be as flexible with you as possible. Okay. I think that's all I have that's for all? right now. All right, so let me just make sure I recap this. So initial offer of 150, we got 15% bonus, mm -hmm. we got 20,000 in equity, 4,000 wellness benefits, and possible relocation. Right. And you'd love for us to- And learning and development. Perfect, you would, love, you would love for us to consider 180. So you want us to go up 30K in the base, you want us to increase the coaching or the professional development from 2,500 to 5,000. You'd love to stay your ass at home and not have to relocate. Okay. Moved, I'm from Memphis, I moved to Houston. It's, I, I, it's a little decipher. I understand. And, um, you know, right now we're thinking through, um, you know, one of the things I just want to make sure it's, it's clear, uh, you didn't mention equity. So are you okay mm -hmm. with the equity at where it is? I'm okay. If if I do understand how okay. that's fluid. And, and again, let me just, I'll share some documents with you if you have any questions. Okay. okay, so what I need to do right now is this is, uh, you know, this is, it's, a, it's a good size increase. This is roughly 40K, and that doesn't even include uh, the benefits that would be for you on your side if you did not have to relocate. And so I understand that you know, it's a decision you got to make. Mm -hmm. uh, but right now, I'm going to have to go back and talk to the comp team, the hiring manager. Let me just make sure I can build the best offer for you that I can, OK? That so give sense. me maybe 24, 48 hours. I get back with you. If you feel like you are about to you know, get skitty and accept some other offer, let me know. But generally, at least knowing that you got an offer, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling good with the offer that I've received so far, but I would definitely like for you to please look at these, I mean, speak with the higher manager of the team. It, right? yes. Okay, perfect, perfect, okay. I appreciate so you all's I time. I appreciate it. So give me some time, uh, get back with you, okay? Thank you so much, Quincy. I all appreciate right. the phone call. Perfect. So I'm going to go talk to my team. All right. Y'all clap for Christmas in all, right? all right? Good. So for most people, should you get to this point in your negotiation where you actually have a recruiter or a hiring manager who is actually engaging with you, right? Like for some of you, as you know, uh, you may go to a company and try to negotiate and you just get brick wall, right? That it is no types of education, no awareness, no partnership. Uh, and I know that's a terrible feeling, right? Like it's, it's a reason why a lot of people don't negotiate, whether you're 
mammy, your pappy, whoever, your neighbor, somebody has told you, don't you ever negotiate, you just take that first offer they give you and say yes, you might be part of that population of people who's leaving that upwards of a million dollars on the table. And so you definitely want to make an effort, especially, I always tell people, don't, don't really negotiate just to negotiate. That's actually not what I'm coaching. I'm coaching that you still know your value and your worth. You've looked at market data. You know your company's internal salary bands. You have a community of 10,000 plus people in black and HR or otherwise who openly talk about compensation so that none of us get played a fool in our careers and you know what it looks like generally in your regional area or nationally for the level, the title, the type of company, all the things where you're going after and you are equipped with that information in order to make a more informed decision. So usually if you get to this point of the conversation where they are actually gonna go back, you are doing one of two things. You are either jumping up for joy that you stood up for yourself or you are as nervous as can be because that time frame of one to two days potentially could just, I mean, that, that, that ends people. They go, ah, you know what, they taking too long. Let me just call them and tell them I accept. The longer they take, I think they're gonna say no. And so at this point, again, you've, all, you've done all the hard work. You interviewed, you got the offer. Now you're just making sure that you get every single penny that you are worth and you believe that you should have in order to do that job. Now, I always make a joke that I not only want the money, I want the band that the money was in. I want the bag that the Brinks man brought the, the money in. I want his belt, his shoestrings. I want all the stuff. I want to make sure that I didn't leave anything because I'm going to ask this one question. I know some of you might not raise your hand, but you're going to nod. Has anybody in here ever started a new job and found out after you started that new job that there are people doing the same work that you are doing or less making more money than you? Damn! Now, how does that feel? Terrible. Terrible, okay? And you know when it is too late to negotiate that offer? After you signed and started. Now, if you signed and you haven't started yet, you still have some, I mean, it, it, it can feel a little awkward to go back and try to do it, but once you day one and you get on orientation, it's a little too late to be like, hey, I showed up, can I, can I get more money? Now, I think Diamond shared earlier that she was able, she was successful in doing that, but after being on the job for six months, showing her worth and her value to the organization, and instead of potentially losing her, they had to realize that and say, hey, you know what, we need to, we need to give up more money here. But it is not a great feeling to be, you know, onboarding at a company and you hear the, the water cooler talk and realize, oh man, I got played. No, better yet, you might have played yourself, okay? So um, we're here to make sure that we don't have to go through that and everyone knows what questions I ask and how to stand up. So this time has passed, you know, let's say I'm the recruiter or whatever, I went to the hiring manager, the comp committee, whatever, and now we are back to Crystal. So Crystal, um, we're back on the call. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Hello, you've reached Crystal Murphy. I like that. That was almost voicemail-like. A little, little, little AI-like in there. I like that, okay? All right, Crystal, well, I uh, appreciate you uh, answering the call, and obviously, thanks for giving us some time to go back and review your offer. Hopefully, you, uh, you're still on the market, right? You still waiting on us? Yes. Good. I love that. All right, so here's what we were able to do. So I was able to go back, uh, and as you know, if you've ever negotiated an offer before, there's a number of things that we had to look at. So obviously, there are others in HR at your level. We looked at internal equity. Uh, we've got a really robust compensation team that uses uh, competitive market data to look at all offers that come in. So we generally have an idea of, based on your state, your city, your zip code, all the things. And uh, obviously working with the manager to evaluate just in general all the things that you mentioned around what you heard in the interview and what we're excited to uh, be able to do with you in this role over the next year or two or more. So hopefully you're here with us for a long time, but here's where we are. So we, we weren't able to get all the way up to 180 base. Just honestly, 180 uh, on the base salary was outside of our range. Our range uh, for generally where we hire new hires caps out at about 170. So we were able to get the base up 20K to 170. Okay. Uh, we are going to uh, grant the $2,500 increase in the professional development. Perfect. Relocation is going to have to be a longer term discussion though. So right now we do not have any fully remote HR staff. Okay. What we can do for you though is to allow you to work remotely for at least the first three months as part of this natural transition. 
And if all things are going well, the hiring manager said they are willing to consider that as a full-time opportunity. Now, you mentioned that you were flexible with travel. So at this point, instead of weekly, we are gonna ask you to come up to the Dallas office at least two weeks a month. It's only on two consecutive days, so maybe you just come up for a Monday, uh, Tuesday, or Thursday, Friday, two days of your choice, but you are gonna have to have some in-presence uh, office you know, in, in Dallas. So, um, you know, equity is where it is. Did you have a chance to look at the equity document? Yes, and I really appreciate you sending that over. I've learned quite a bit, so I see how that goes. Thank Perfect. you so I'd much. Perfect, I'd love to hear that. So, um, again, with the base, the professional development, uh, you know, FTO, again, remember just to let us know if you've got anything that needs to be pre-approved for you, but knowing that we're able to get the base up to 170, get your professional development, it kind of got into a mid area for your reload, but it is, it, I would say in my like 100 offers here at this company, we've not actually given that to anyone, especially in HR, so it is a, a, a flexibility that the manager, I think, is willing to evaluate. How are you feeling right now about this increased offer? I actually feel really good about the offer. If you can send me the details in writing, I can review them. Do I still have 48 hours to review them, or would you need that sooner? Yeah, you got 48 hours. So, okay. yeah, we'll get it to you. Uh, it'll come over in DocuSign, so you'll have an opportunity to evaluate it. Still, if you have any questions, feel free to reach back out to me. But we want you to be excited when you say yes. So, again, if yes. you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to let us know. But we are here for you. I am on your side. Again, we'll go back to the manager in case I need to. But at this point, it sounds like I got a verbal yes from you. Yes. Perfect. I'd love to hear that. So expect the documents to show up in your email by the end of the day. Okay. Thank you. I really appreciate it, Quincy. All right. Thank you so appreciate much. Appreciate it. Thank you.